Hi guys, I recently came into possession of this Motorola GP340. It's a UHF handheld. This is the EX version, which means it can be used in places where using a normal radio could potentially um, uh, cause explosions. We've got on the side of it three programmable buttons in the PTT. On the top, we've got an, an emergency button just there. We've got Rotary channel controller 1 through to 16, it says it's a 16 channel radio. Not all of those channels are programmed, I have actually checked that. That's the power on off control, the battery's not actually attached at the moment. Antenna is detachable, I have tried and it does come off. Accessory connector on that side for connecting accessories like the programming cable and speaker mic, is this one to come with a speaker mic? Needs a clean. I have tried to clean it, but it needs more of a clean. And then it's come with the battery. This isn't just a standard GP340 battery. This is actually one designed for this radio, the EX. So you can't use the standard GP340 battery on these, apparently. So charges using drop -in, a drop-in charger. On these four contacts here. Now you can still buy the chargers for this, which is a good thing. I've seen them on Amazon. And replacement batteries are obtainable. Just got to remember that they've got to fit the GP340 EX. I believe this will be also, because of that, limited to one watt rather than four watts of a normal GP340. So that'd be, that would be quite interesting. So I will get that program for 70 SEMS if it will go down to 70 SEMS. I believe it should. I have no reason to believe it won't unless somebody can tell me different. And if it doesn't go down to 70 SEMS, then I'll try and, try and see if I can get any money for it. But I think it will go down to 70 SEMS. And that's a forthcoming attraction on this channel, me attempting to program that. If, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Hopefully it will work. So I've got to get hold of a programming cable. I have seen them floating about. Uh, I'll have to use the virtual machine on my desktop computer in order to program that. Otherwise it just simply is not going to program. Hopefully, all being well, this will work on 70 SEMS and I'll give it a test and see see how it does. So that forthcoming attraction, this radio being programmed for 70 SEMS, if it will go there, which I think it will, and also a little test on the air to see how it sounds, how it works, that sort of thing. So 7-3 for now and I will catch you in the next one.